Essendon club legend James Hurd is officially in the mix to return to the Bombers as coach. The Don Scrape was interviewed by the selection committee on Wednesday as the club ramps up its search. Watch in the video above, exclusive details on Hurd's bid for the Essendon job analysis, local footy in the biggest moments, 7 and 7 Plus are the home of footy shows for every fan. Stream them all for free on 7 Plus 7 News reporter Tom Brown revealed Hurd and other applicants Otto Muse and Brendan Laid, who also interviewed on Wednesday, have signed non-disclosure agreements meaning they can't speak about the process. But Brown believes Hurd was very pleased with how his interview went. Senior St. Kilda assistant Laid was a surprise addition to the coaching shortlist, as revealed by 7 News reporter Mitch Cleary on Tuesday, while Melbourne assistant Tuesday remains the frontrunner. Don Pike and Dean Solomon are also in the mix. The Bombers have been hunting a new coach since sacking Ben Rudin after the club's final game of the season following a failed pursuit of legendary coach Alistair Clarkson, who chose to join North Melbourne. Hurd, who was first appointed Essendon coach in 2010, hasn't held a senior coaching position since he resigned from his post at the Bombers in during the 2015 season. His resignation came after he served a 12-month ban for his part in the club's drugs saga. He recently broke his silence on his ill-fated stint as the club's senior coach, and claimed his greatest weakness was trusting people. We had two people there who were bad people. I don't think they cheated, but that's debatable, Heard told the Howie Games podcast. The thing that is the most upsetting is there's 34 players who have done absolutely nothing wrong and their families and them have suffered hugely for it, and so have the Essendon supporters. He spent five weeks in a Melbourne psychiatric facility in 2017 but has since rebuilt his life. It was horrible, it was absolutely horrible, waking up in hospital, but it was a necessary part of the journey in terms of where I am now, Heard said. My brain was just going at 100 miles an hour, and it wouldn't stop spinning. I'm not proud of what happened but I am proud of the resilience that I have to actually get to where I am. Heard has helped out at GWS this year first as a leadership advisor, then as an assistant coach to former Essendon teammate Mark McVeigh after the Giants' longtime mentor Leon Cameron stood down in May. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.